That's not hard. Not hard at all. This is just finger picking. And we're gonna learn that pattern, which is actually very simple to do today. That's, that would be an example of a four string chord. Today we're gonna learn Stand By Me. It's simple, it's only got four chords. It's got a G, an E minor, a C, and a D7. And we're gonna learn the easiest finger picking pattern that you can learn, and it's probably the best go-to pattern that you'll ever have for finger style. With the sixth string, it's gonna sound like this. Walk it down to an E minor. Simple as that, and we'll learn that right now. Before we get too far into this, I need to let you know that this finger is your index, this is your middle, and this is your ring finger. And most people don't use their fourth finger for finger style. It does good to have a nice little nail on it round it off, keep it smooth, you can catch your strings with it. And it gives you a lot more, um, so you can use the meat of your fingers as well. It'll just give you a softer tone. And I do use a thumb pick. Some people have a long fingernail, it's a Fred Kelly thumb pick, speed pick I think they call it. And I prefer that because I work outside a lot and I just don't, I can't have long fingernails. They'll break off and there'll be a constant problem. They have to grow real long on your thumb. We're gonna start, but now that we know our fingers, the, the G is the first chord of Stand By Me. We're gonna play a full G. So it's gonna be our thumb, middle, thumb, index. We're not gonna use our ring finger at all on this. On the intro that I did, uh, the four string uh, pattern, I did not use my third finger. Just so I'm only using three fingers. Six, two, four, three. Thumb, middle, thumb, index. And work on that until you get that going pretty good. Actually, you don't even need that all you gotta have for this is one you're not playing your first string or your fifth so get to where you can play that real good and then we're gonna move to our E minor that's the second chord of stand by me it's a six string chord too it's the exact same pattern and forth between the G and the E minor. Three and four and. Now we're going to switch over to the five string chord. And the five string chord, we're just going to hit the fifth string with our thumb. Now the other strings are all played the same. The only thing that's changing is that root note. So instead of hitting our sixth string with our thumb, we're gonna hit our fifth string every time. And the, the other strings, the other fingers hit the same strings. So it's five, two, four, three. Let's practice. Let's go from G to C. basic chords, your G, E minor, C, and D7, but you can also play D. Let's go from E minor to, to C now. E minor, C. So get that, and it's gonna take a while, and you're gonna go, I want you to go back and forth, first off with your sixth string, 
uh, pattern and then go from your sixth to your fifth string pattern. G, C. Of course, when you're starting out, you may do it like this. Don't worry about it. You'll build speed real fast if you stick with it. And if you get frustrated, do what I do. Go to bed and forget about it. And come the next morning, for some reason, you'll be able to play it. I don't know how that works. Now we're going to look at the four-string chord. When we do have a D, D7 in there, we're going to hit. The, it's a four-string D7, just like you're strumming it. You might as well be strumming. They're just arpeggiating these chords. So we start on, we are going to move everything down a string. The same thing as a C, but everything, instead of playing everything on our four, uh, second through fifth string, we're going to play it on our first through, first through fourth string. Thumb on the fourth, middle is first, thumb, index on the second. After you get that going, let's go from our C to our D7, C, and then go back to our G. That's the whole song. You basically already got it, and it just repeats three times. The entire song it repeats three times, and then you have a, a, the next verse. It's um, now I did show you a walk down. I think in the in the, in the initial uh, demo we have the G. Gonna walk it down. I strum it, I hit the use the back of my fingernail. That's as good as a pick. 